What's up guys, today we're going to talk about the Native American DLC. This video is speculation and there are no any leaks so far, but as with other DLC videos I base my theory on facts from the existing game. This video has made you spoilers so if you aren't in the epilogue so far I suggest you stop watching. So I think Charles will be the main protagonist of this DLC and a good place to start is in chapter 4 of the existing game with the bank robbery where Hosea and Lenny get killed. The main reason why I think the DLC starts here because there are a lot of loose ends and questions in and around chapter 5 when most of the gunslingers of the gang are in Guarma. So imagine doing this bank robbery as Charles, that will be pretty cool, because you see it from another perspective. And another reason why I think you will be Charles is because he offers his life, so the gang can flee to the boat, and we have to know what happened to Charles and how he escaped from there. We've wasted enough time on these fools. Spencer said... See them? Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah, let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently, so when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. So because of that beautiful and brave act from Charles, could the rest of the gang flee to the boat. And I think in the DLC you will play further as Charles here and run from the cops. However, Charles tells later to Arthur how he escaped. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together? Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Ah, uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So that's how you will escape as Charles and then you probably have to go back to Shady Bell to team up with Sadie and save the others. Then did Charles go to Lakai probably with Sadie and Karen because they were the only ones left that know how to use a gun properly. And you take it over from crazies that put hats on sticks. I think that will be the night people. And this will be your camp until Dutch and the gang comes back and will bring the Pinkertons with them. How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can, can somebody get me a cup of coffee or something? Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Adler, who saved us, Dutch? After the robbery in Saint-Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of a living here. Mrs. Adler? We owe you. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. Now I'm going to give you a small tour in this Lakai camp. Here probably will be Pearson's stable where you can give the meat and the fish if you go hunting or fishing. So this will be probably the main room where people sit at night, tell stories and stuff like the campfires in the other camps. So in the room next to it you have the master bedroom, normally it will be Dutch room but I think Miss Grimshaw will sleep here in this uh, camp. And then you have a small kitchen, I think you can get the tonics here. And then you go outside and it's a nice place to fish. Yeah, I think I will really love this camp because I like this swamp area. I like to fish and hunt crocodiles and stuff, you know, you know how we do. Yeah, and there you go to the middle point of the camp again. 
to the table of Pearson. You see Pearson also do some chores here. And there is another building. So this is the building where people sleep. So let's go inside. So this is probably also a place where you can sit at night. Because this is where they're sitting when Dutch comes back. And the room next to it is where people sleep. You found Tilly and the girl sitting here. You see Jack asleep on the ground and you see some hammocks. So it'll be funny to see people sleep in these hammocks. And I think this place will be Charles place to sleep. And this chest you can change your clothing there. And this ladders lead you to Strauss place to sleep because you can see him go there in this cutscene. And this door brings you outside again, a nice place to fish again. And you see uh, Miss Grimshaw here on guard duty. Yeah, I really like this place, man. Probably will also look good at night with the lanterns here and stuff. So from here you walk to the center of the camp again. And yes, guys, there's nothing wrong with your eyes. You see Reverend Swanson doing some chores. Funny, though. And here are the carbine repeaters. You have them in every camp and like you can go on guard duty, but it never works. So I hope it will work in this DLC. So yeah, guys, that will be the camp. Now I'm going to talk a bit about what type of missions you will get and what Charles does in this chapter 5 when the rest of the boys are in Garma. So after setting up camp, Charles and Abigail will go steal this uh, body of Jose at the police office in St. Denis. That's what Abigail said. We buried Jose at Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. So imagine how cool that mission will be. You will go in this police office, Abigail will probably be a decoy or something. And then afterwards you probably get a cutscene that you bury Osea with the gang and you give him the proper respect he deserves together with Lenny because they are buried together. Oh man, I would love that cutscene because I really love to say and Lenny man. Now let's talk about Charles' transformation like you see here. He changed his hair and stuff. With his haircut he looks more Native American and I think he does that because he went searching for his roots because his mother is Native American and his father was black like you see here on the picture. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. When Charles and Arthur go up north to find a place to set up camp near Ennsburg, did Charles say he went there already when Arthur was away in Guarma? So probably he did some missions there and some scouting. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. What are we doing there? For, for, for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Hmm. We'll see. Charles went up north scouting. And probably you will do some missions there. And also you will probably go to Wapiti and meet the Native Americans. To find his roots. And like, he will do missions for Rainsfall. Because we know he and Rainsfall are close. And we also know that he's close with eagle flies because he introduced eagle flies to Dutch. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we, um, 
Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people. We've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. The men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. You can also hear that Charles is loyal to Chief Rainsfall on the level that he even made promises to him. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rainsfall. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behavior. I understand. So that's the main reason I think he already run with them for a while. So in chapter 5 when the gang is in Lakai, maybe he also has like a tent or a place to sleep in the camp in Wapiti because Lakai and Wapiti is a long way to travel all the time. And probably did Chief Rangefall knew something about Charles' mother and that's why he's so loyal to him. And Charles feel accepted by the Native Americans and that's why he wears his hair like a Native American. After doing a lot of missions for the Native Americans in the north and for the gang in Lakai, Will Arthur Morgan and Dutch come back from Guama? However, after Dutch and Arthur and the boys come back, will the Pinkertons attack Lakai? And then do Arthur and Charles have to do this mission to set up a new camp in the north near Annisburg? But now you play as Charles with Arthur, so how cool will that be? Playing as Charles and Arthur as your companion? Also what we know about chapter 6 is that Charles is not always in camp, so he probably is a lot with the Native Americans. And you can even find Charles sometimes in Wapiti. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's a... Uh... He's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Another thing I loved about Charles is in the mission where you have to rescue eagle flies from the fort. And he already did the scouting before, so that's probably a mission you will do as well. Next to all the other missions we don't know about. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes. Yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in. Or hey! There's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <coughs> so imagine all these missions Charles do with Arthur, and you saw it from the other perspective. You was Arthur before in Red Dead Redemption 2, but now you're Charles, so you see it from the other perspective. And Arthur is your friend, so that's pretty, pretty cool. I'm a bit hyped about this, so I really hope this DLC will happen. And also playing as Charles, he's a real cool guy, he's one of my favorite characters. 
And yeah, I really like Native Americans. I don't know why they're really cool and stuff. So now let's talk about when Charles Saarte for the last time alive. That was after bringing our wounded eagle flies after attacking the oil fields to Wapiti. And Charles said he wanted to stay with the Native Americans and didn't want to be part of Dutch gang anymore. Bring him to me. My son. What are they gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. Like you heard, Chell stay with the Native Americans and help them flee. Probably will the army come to Wapiti to attack the Native Americans after what they did to the oil fields. And Charles has to defend them and help them leave to Canada. Because in an encounter between Rainsfall and John that he said they live in Canada now. My people aren't really a tribe. We're just a bunch of families, I suppose. But we're in Canada now. And it's, uh, what are you doing here? I don't really know. And Charles said when he was up north he heard about the death of Grimshaw and Arthur. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. So he came back to bury them. Imagine a mission you have to search the body of Arthur, how emotional and good that will be. And you give him a proper burial and the ending credit starts to roll in. Wouldn't that be a good ending? Please let me know what you think about a DLC like this. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and I see you in the next video.